Welcome back. I am going to continue on with setting up Sequence Generator Pro. So if I go to Equipment Profile Manager, I'm going to start with start from scratch, and this is going to be my Nikon combined with my Quattro scope. So the file naming pattern I am actually going to copy from my previous machine to save me having to type it out. The key is available. So if I load this up. I can control A, control C, copy and paste it in and this will be my default. So when I go to the camera page, I will have Nikon. I believe the settings is just auto connect and fits. I keep it as fits. You can use raw. I prefer fits. I don't think it makes any difference. I believe I did check it out previously. So I'm going to put in the scale for my camera and scope combination. The readout noise I have, so at ISO, at ISO 200, my readout noise is 2, my pixels is 6000 by 4000, it's a 24 megapixel camera, not totally ideal for this work, I believe this is 0.91, I will be coming back to check that, it doesn't really affect anything, there are suggestions about my ideal exposure times that it can give you. I've never actually noticed that it works, so I guess I probably still have some more work to do in that area. Uh, the filters, because I don't have a filter wheel, I won't fill this out. I did originally fill this out and discovered that then it was looking for a USB filter wheel and trying to connect, and then that caused me problems. So if we move across into focus, I have a moonlight focuser which comes up. That's once you've installed the driver that will appear. That may not exist on your current one. So that I consider a fine focus as 10 and a large focus as 100. I use autofocus and I don't believe that I actually grab the settings for this so I probably have to wing it a little bit. So if I go to use autofocus and hit set, I did autofocus every, and I do 30 minutes, so every half an hour it will recheck. It will do an autofocus before the sequence starts. I don't need filter change. Autofocus. No, I don't need that. Exposure times. So I will do a 10 second exposure. And I like to go up to ISO 1600. I believe this is all as it was. So I will. save that so that is everything done in that tab frame and focus so we'll hit save I can I suppose I can validate this on my previous system so if I go to settings oops I wonder why that didn't bring up the same oh I know why apologies it was the autofocus settings I was looking for so what we will do is we'll take a wee snapshot of that and we'll take this over to the other machine and that will make life a wee bit easier. So if we go to copy, open up paint, paste it in, crop it up and chuck it over there. So we will have sequence generator pro. So we'll have to do a little bit of flicking back and forward. So we will go here. If I'm running down, it is 10, 1607. So let's see what this says. 8, 400. So let's just follow what I had before. 8, 400. Then we had 9, 10, 10, 6. 9, 10, 10, 6. Did we have any of these ticked? We did not. Uh, looking back over all of this was correct. So that is fine. So I'll hit OK and save and see what we like. So I will end this video now and we will pick it up with another one.